Capricorn, welcome to your August 2018 reading. So we're over the halfway point of this year, which is a little bit scary, but it's a good time to do some mid-year resolutions. I know that Capricorn is the ultimate goal digger, not gold digger, goal digger of the zodiac, best sign for making goals and sticking to them. So that's probably because New Year typically, uh, for most parts of the world, begins on the Capricorn clock. So 31st of December is Capricorn time, so this is a good time to have a little six month check, seven month check, eight month check, and make summer resolutions. Because sometimes when the weather's better, um, well it may be in your country, it's not here, but when the weather is better, uh, the, the mind can sometimes have a shift in positivity just to do with that little injection of sunshine. Um, so we have a couple of things going on this month for you in particular. Mars is currently retrograding and it's going back into your sign for a while. So at first, this is going to feel like a bit of a sluggish energy. Um, but then once it stations direct again, it'll be moving through your sign and old ground and having once more that little injection of Mars energy where you get this uh, energy boost. Uh, for the most part of this month, though, it's retrograding in Aquarius, which is your sign of finance. So financial goals are important. Feeling a little bit more in control of your money. It's not the time for big expenditures. It's not the time for buying um, a lot, basically. It's more time about being savvy about money rather than being spendthrift. So, uh, or spendthrift is actually saving money, isn't it? I don't know. I'm already very affected by Mercury going retrograde, but <laughs> there's going to be a full moon in Pisces on the 26th, which is your full moon of communication. It's about your relationship with your siblings. Sometimes if we have a poor communication relationship with our siblings. Full moons can be a good time to talk about them. Um, it can be a good time for things to come to a head. And of course, when things come to a head, it's not always a negative thing. It allows you to process them and move on. Now, um, Mercury retrograde is going to be retrograding in your, I believe, eighth house. And Leo energy in general is your eighth house of other people's money inheritance, wills, uh, taxes, things like that. When it's retrograding, it, it can be easy to miss something important. Um, it can be a good time to get your ducks in a row, but it can also be um, a bit of, it can be unnecessarily tension filled. So maybe now is not the time to have conversations with siblings if you're having issues with will and probate and things like that, inheritance, property. Um, it can be tricky, it can be tricky energy, particularly with Mars there in Aquarius and finance. You know, your relationship with money this month may feel a bit more strained, but it's a necessary way of processing things and making sure that you're actually set for a better future. I'm feeling like the new moon in Leo, because that is also a solar eclipse um, in your house of other people's money. So sometimes when that happens, you can have letters out of the blue from relatives you didn't know. Uh, for the minor few of you, um, I've known some people to experience that, not everyone experiences it, but for the most part it's sort of a, a eureka moment. It's a good time to set financial intentions and review your spending is what I'm getting here. So if you're feeling a bit concerned about money, just know that this is the month more for review and reflect. Um, so let's see, we have as well the sun going into Virgo on the 24th, which is your fellow earth sign energy. The a house of travel, of spiritual expansion, taking up new spiritual practice. If you don't meditate, it's the best time to learn. And it's also a good time to plan trips. It'll be a great time for traveling, particularly as Mercury goes direct on the 20th. So if you're traveling after that, you guys will experience a much smoother ride than everyone that's been traveling over the summer. So later holidays this year are very, very well aspected. But let's see how we're getting on. So Knight of Pentacles, some of you are starting a new job. This is also your energy. So this can represent feeling more in tune with yourself. I know that you had a tower moment in July. 
um, and things maybe came to your head, the retrogrades maybe pulled some issues out of the bag that you didn't realise you were dealing with. You may be dealing with another earth sign person, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or another Capricorn. It could be the some some part of your love life is feeling a little bit... Oh, I feel like some of you may be recovering from a disappointment, some of you may be recovering from a breakup, or some of you may be feeling like your work life, if this is in relation to this, isn't as fulfilling as you thought it would be, but you're missing the parts you have to be grateful for. for so for this guy, it always reminds me of glass half empty mentality, and this is what's crossing you. So you may be, instead of being more in touch with your higher self, as the Knight of Pentacles would suggest, maybe you are reflecting on the negative side of what's going on with your situation rather than the offers that you're receiving and the people that are there. Ten of Cups in the past, so we've had a happy new beginning, I think. Ten is a sign of completion, but it also reduces to a one, okay? So we've got a new start, and you have, I think you've begun something that you have to try something new with. Maybe some of you have started a new job, and this is training. This is learning skills, or maybe some of you are learning something outside of work. Maybe you are trying a new hobby. Maybe you're finding fulfillment there. We have a strength card as well, so inner peace is important this month as a whole. Not letting outside influences disturb the calm that you have within you. I think perspective and gratitude are going to be huge this month for you, Capricorn, in terms of staying afloat, staying ahead. When Saturn, your ruler, is it's in your sign at the moment, so karmic lessons are tenfold for you guys, but it's more comfortable when your ruling sign is in your own sign. Um, there's more of a there's more of a backbone to what it is that you're doing. But with the Mars retrograde energy, particularly going into your sign, it may hit it a bit hard. There could be a conjunction there that can sometimes disturb your mentality or make you feel a bit more aggressive than usual, um, which can be taken out of context for some people because I do see there is a burden, a lot of burden, possibly taking on too much at once. Now, when Mars is retrograding, I caution against trying vigorous exercise routines, trying to take on too much at once, trying new projects. Certainly with this Eight of Pentacles, you do seem to be trying something new. Or you do seem to be developing your relationship with your finance and getting some satisfaction from that. But if you're taking on too many things at once, you're on your way to your burnout. This can also indicate a new job because 10 does reduce to a 1. But for me, this is more about possibly being asked to do too much by other people um, in the workplace or being your own, you know, Toughest boss, I think, is something that I'm seeing here. This is your energy, Queen of Pentacles. Six of Swords. And seven of Pentacles. And the outcome is the Moon again. Okay, so some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces. This is a major arcana for Pisces. And the full Moon is coming up in Pisces this month. So what's going on with that? Some of you are feeling, I think... Some of you are definitely in a relationship with a Pisces person where you're feeling like it's maybe too much. I'm also sensing a bit of distrust for the Pisces because of this guy, Seven of Swords, where this, there's a sneaky energy or a, um, a feeling of deception, a feeling of like you're not getting the whole picture from somebody and the full moon shows all, you know. Uh, typically in astrology, we believe that secrets that are going on come out during a full moon because the full moon illuminates the planet like everything lights up the the night is a lot brighter when you walk out into a garden with a clear sky and there's a full moon you can see everything uh unless you live in a city in which case you could probably not see that much but when you are in a full moon things become apparent your emotional guidance system is stronger especially when there's piscean energy Piscean is very intuitive, it's very intuition based. Something may flag, okay? Uh, whether you're dealing with a Pisces person or not, there is a, there's sort of a, there's a suggestion here that there's something you don't know or something that's maybe being taken, um, taken out behind the scenes that you don't know about. But it's unclear at this point in the reading whether or not that's going to be a good or a bad thing, you know? 
I think the full moon in Pisces is going to be a big communication moon for you as it is your third house. You may be having a conversation that's very long overdue. And I have felt for the last two months that in the Capricorn readings, the Capricorns that have been keeping their feelings to themselves haven't been doing as well as the ones that have been a little bit more direct, okay? So when Mercury goes direct on the 20th, you may feel a lift. If you don't have your natal Mercury in retrograde, you will feel a significant lift. Um, if your Mercury in your own birth chart is retrograde, you won't notice this as much, okay? But I think some of you have definitely been sitting on your feelings or pushing them down, suppressing them. And suppressive isn't impressive. Devil. This is your energy. I think some of you guys are obsessing over something in the month of August. Like you can't let it go. Or you have an idea that you can't let go. Sometimes when the devil energy is channeled, it is so positive. Especially when it's your major arcana. Sometimes with earth signs. Because earth signs can be very obsessive over their work. And that's why they rise so high in the ranks. Particularly Capricorns. But if it comes at the cost of your inner peace, it's too expensive. Okay, so... If you are obsessing over something and it's turning you this way, it's it's too much. I think some of you are obsessing over a love relationship though. There's an issue of jealousy here coming from you or your partner. Um, or you're interested in someone if you're completely single. You're interested in someone and it's a very, very strong attraction and it's disabling you in progressing it forward. So maybe you really, really, really um, have an attraction to someone and you, you feel like you're not yourself around them because you're nervous. Some of you are going through that. Others of you that have somebody in mind, I think you are tapping into your stress energies. Particularly if you're stressed at work, you're stressing over this to an unhealthy extent as well. There seems to be, um, the more you stress yourself out in work, the more you're bringing it home. Or maybe you are bringing it out of yourself unnecessarily, even though you felt like you had a really good thing going recently, you're starting to worry and get anxious. This is you. Maybe not sleeping as well. Maybe feeling a little bit like your sleep's been disturbed. Um, some of you are dealing with Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, or Aquarius energy with the wheel. But for the most part, it's that things are starting to turn in a different direction. Fate is turning in a different direction. Now, Jupiter went direct in July on the 10th. This is also 10 energy. Again, reduces to 1. To begin a new cycle in your house of friendship okay 11th house energy communications some of you may have a lot of success online if you're working in online building uh, businesses if you're most of your work is online or on the social networking um, platforms definitely you guys are going to be having an injection of luck with that but i do see a leo aspect for some people but it could just represent the month of August and Leo season being a pinnacle of change. So I think some of you that are dealing with the water sign person are starting to find <laughs> find them a bit stressful. Or your, roman your romantic life in general, communication-wise, is, is a bit stressful. And I think this is a Mercury retrograde affliction. Romance is, it's, there's miscommunications, the lines are getting blurred miscommunications are happening um a lot of you are finding solace in your friendships and a lot of you are moving forward from illusions i do feel like there may be now the tower moment come up uh, it's come up in your fears section so don't be frightened uh, to get it two months in a row would be a bit dodgy something is going to come out or something is going to be said where you there may be a conflict in august I think very much for those of you that have suppressed feelings, I think miscommunications are very likely to occur. Um, that Seven of Swords energy, you may be getting the wrong end of the stick um, and you may go off on one. These guys, it's not heightened fighting energy, it's not um, a nuclear conflict anyway. Um, didn't think of a Capricorn that relates to. <laughs> but uh, this is all about fighting your corner, 
feeling like you have to fight your corner. Something in an illusionary sense. So it may be Capricorn that you're going through a period of stress and you start to envision these ideas in your head. You get carried away with what could go wrong. You get carried away with interpreting what that meant when maybe it just meant, you know, if A meant A, maybe you've gone all the way to Z. Like you're thinking it actually means this when it really just meant what they said. I think there's a lot of interpretation going on for you more than usual and over analysis and things come to your head, possibly around the full moon, and you overreact or you find your voice that you didn't have before, okay? So underneath we have the two of wands. You have to make a decision of what way you're going to react to this information or this, this conflict that I think you may be having, especially if you are dealing with a Pisces. There may be an argument or there may be competition illusionary competition. You may think somebody else is competition when they're not because the five of wands is a competitive card. The moon is a little bit foggy. It doesn't give us the full picture all the time. Yes, some things come to a, a head that were hidden, but oftentimes it's not the clearest of outcomes, you know. It's a good time to trust your intuition, but it's also I think you might get it wrong, is what I'm saying. I think you might be coming up to your freak out moment that you get wrong. Because you are in this space of over analysis. Overthinking things to the point you don't you think you don't have a choice where you had to, okay? Crossed by the ten of swords, I think it's a fear of betrayal. Your fear of betrayal and your fear of failure. Are coming through very strong particularly in romance with the two of cups crossing you as well it is a fear of failure and some of you have definitely been holding your your cards close to your chest i do also think this is for those of you that are saving money this week this month um rather than saving it that's a very good idea the fate is changing in your favor just remember that when you're going through tower moments or you're going through ten of swords moments it's oftentimes to clear out what's not working because something is coming in that's incredibly positive, especially if you are dealing with Leo people. Because um, Leo seems to be quite well aspected here in terms of at least friendships or opportunities. Okay, Leo's season is going to be full of opportunities for you. Some of you may choose to walk away from a romance, even temporarily. You may choose to get space. You may choose to go on a vacation. You may choose to give... Some of you are leaving love behind in general for a break. Some of you are giving up on the dating scene. Some of you are just getting a different perspective. And some of you are transitioning from the single period into the coupled period. Okay, so there's there's a transition here from one stage to another. Um... There's something surrounding friendships here that I'm going to get back to as well. Death card is the outcome. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so towards the end of the month, I think we're seeing a pay rise um, or financial success. Possibly for some of you an inheritance because of the Death card and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but if that is the case, I think you'd already know about it. This isn't to to scare people into thinking something someone's gonna die that's very rarely the case in tarot it's just more to do with inherit as the eighth house energy suggests there seems to be um possible inheritances from the past or conversations about things like that um you know if we were because i think people are going to be a bit scared now they're thinking ah you know there's um some of you may be grieving yes but i think for the most part there is there's more of a chance that you're going through a transitional period in money okay um, because the eighth house typically is other people's money. And it may be that you are responsible for other people's money or responsible for the finances of a large corporation. Because I see a lot of people frantically running around here with the five of um, wands. So some of you may work in very frantic environments. I think for the most part, this kind of looks like the end to a period of fighting. For some of you, that is walking away from a partner you just can't see eye to eye with. But there seems to be a suggestion here not to, do you know what it is? Pick your battles. Know when to pick your battles. You may get something very wrong this month, Capricorn. Your fears are very much 
illusionary at this point, okay? You're overthinking things. You're seeing the potential for the worst and it's not the case. Um, as I, I always say, trust your intuition, but yours may be a little bit off this month, Capricorn, is what I'm thinking. I imagine with the amount of retrograde energies, because it's backward, um, you may be feeling backwards yourself. And I think I think you may feel like you've you've taken 10 steps back to something you thought you'd got past and you maybe haven't. As I said with the death card, there's every opportunity that maybe some of you may decide to leave relationships that aren't working behind. For those of you in happier relationships, I think you are possibly finding another way of dealing with your conflict and your disagreements. For those of you that are completely single, um, I think you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces, possibly both, um, that may be fighting it out for your attention. But certainly, luck is actually changing for the better. For those of you that are scared of this death card and the moon card, I, I feel like this is more that you can't see the wood for the trees because Jupiter, at least, is smiling down on you with some wish fulfillment here, okay? Um, channel the strength card when you want to channel the five of swords, five of wands. When you want to fight with people, take a deep breath, get some composure because you may push people away by being more confrontational. If you're dealing with people where they've hurt you very badly and betrayed you very badly, the energy seems to be killing you a little bit. You seem to be dealing with a lot of fear and angst and it would be a good time, it's a good time to reevaluate whether or not you could continue on a relationship like this, particularly if it is somebody that makes you feel in competition with other people and makes you feel a little bit insecure because you will know if someone is deliberately making you feel insecure. Some people do. Um, the older you get, the more you realise not everyone's playing by the rules. Certainly some of you may be dealing with a Pisces that's not playing by the rules or a Scorpio that's not playing by the rules. But for the most part, I actually feel like your luck is changing. You just can't see it yet because you're in this moon mode. After the full moon and Mercury goes direct, you're going to be feeling a lot more optimistic and starting to see the fruits of your labour and you'll be this guy instead. And just remember, money's going to be smiling on you by the end of the month too, so that's something to look forward to. Um, I will see you in September, Capricorn. Bye!